years ago, uh, you can do everything with bayonets except sit on them. That if you are going to control any population for any length of time, you must have some measure of consent. It's exceedingly difficult to see uh, how pure terrorism can function indefinitely. It can function for a fairly long time, but I think uh, sooner or later you have to bring in an element of persuasion, an element of getting people to consent to what is happening to them. Well, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, th this is, the, seems to me, the, the ultimate uh, in malevolent revolution, shall we say. And that there seems to be a general movement uh, in the direction of this kind of ultimate revolution, this, this method of control uh, by which people can be made to enjoy a state of affairs which by any decent standard, they ought not to enjoy. Uh, this, I mean, the enjoyment of, uh, of servitude. And first, uh, let me talk about uh, a little bit about the improvement even in the techniques of, of terrorism. Uh, I think there, there have been improvements. Uh, Pavlov, after all, made some extremely profound observations, both on animals and on human beings. And he found, among other things, that uh, conditioning uh, techniques applied to animals or humans in a state either of psychological or of physical stress sank in, so to say, very deeply into the mind-body of the creature and were extremely difficult to get rid of. That They seem to 